Okay, so hello, good morning again. So today I'm going to show you how to access our Turnitin account or how to conduct a similarity index of our paper for publication. So first, we just need to access the Turnitin login page. So for those who don't know how to access it, you just need to search the keyword turn it in login so just click this one <clears throat> okay so we're now redirecting to turn it in so we just need to type in our email address then our password just need to log in so right now I do have my class so I'm going to access uh, paper reviews on my class so we're going to perform now a similarity index test of our papers for publications. So I have papers here that have been pub uh, some of the papers have already been published. So I do have here the content analysis. It talks about the five similarity index. So meaning the data that the paper that has been submitted to a research journal has only a similarity index of 5% okay so it's, it's loading now okay so this is the similarity index report so if you will notice it indicated 5 it talks about the overview of the match so we're going to check so you will be provided with an information that these particular statements were taken from Cambridge.org it talks about the Mental Health Republic Act 1106 so then another example another example this data has been published in this particular journal the general criteria of your publication the number of similarity index that you have so in my case I have submitted this paper and was uh, luckily accepted in a Scopus index journal so soon I will be publishing this paper so we're going to test another paper how we're going to test for each similarity index so you just need to click submit file then the name of the student okay so okay then this is the title of the article that will be submitted okay so the title then I'm going to access choose from this computer so I'm going to upload the document that will be subject for uh, plagiarism test or similarity index so you, it, this is a research that will be subject for publication in a Scopus index journal ok this is the article ok so you need to confirm the name of your document then simply click upload so turn it in accept uh, Microsoft Word, Excel and or other document types um, or even PDF format so we just need to wait to complete the uploading of documents to the Turnitin and it will be subjected to similarity index test okay so there you go 126 pages that we need to capsulize into a publishable paper format so just need to confirm uh, we are doing this so we can check the actual similarity index and we can perform this into a capsule paper publishable paper okay go to assignment then we just need to wait for the similarity index result so we just need to refresh okay so this may take some time as 126 pages 
it's still loading okay so we just need to wait for the percentage score of your similarity index so we can do proofreading and do some enhancement on our paper and how we can come up with a publishable research paper so this is what we do in coming up with a publishable research paper that is accepted in some international preferred journal so we just need to wait oh there it goes so as you notice there's a 36% similarity index on this type of paper so we can simply check its similarity by simply clicking the percentage here in the similarity column so just need to click this 36% so we can actually view the similarity of this paper for review there are hidden text submitted in this paper so we just need to click the match overview it will tell us uh, where this paper has been or some of the, its contents were copied from or referenced from so we do have here one from Mr. Dindo C. Obedientia so you just need to click this one of four percent so meaning this particular content to the study conducted by Dindo Obedientia which we can actually access by simply clicking its author's name reference from eMap the mobile app map directory of Ipsu main campus with web-based management panel so a research paper published by Dr. C. Obedientia into the IEEE Explorer so okay so we go back to our turn it in results so that's our percent similarity and we can actually do filtering so we can filter out those references or statements okay so one percent so we just need to click apply changes okay there it goes so we only have around 13% similarity index and this is a quite good result now so just need to click okay so another paper was submitted to Ghana Technology University so just need to click this one if you would like to see the actual okay a paper has been intellectual property it has been submitted to another turn it in database so is the paper is not yet published but the content will save into the turn it in repository concern that we can't actually get the contents view the contents because it was submitted to Ghana Technology University College okay so now we can actually download this report by clicking this download button then simply clicking current view okay it's preparing download now okay so this may take some time as it ha has a number of pages of 126 so we need to do a lot of paper enhancement here though it only have 13% but we need to have it into a publishable paper format based on the journal template where we are going to publish this research article so watch out as we publish this paper so the title will be somewhat be published later on uh, similarity index how, how we run plagiarism test based on the documents submitted to us by our students or on our research paper 
or articles that we want to publish in a particular academic research journal or an international preferred journal. I guess it's already done. Put it already. Now we can actually see the result of the similarity test of our paper. Okay, so I just need to open this in a particular PDF editor. Okay, so opening it up. So I'm using Nitro PDF. Okay, so there it goes. The the title of our article, then the author, then the date it has been submitted with the submission ID. We can actually see statements that were highlighted. Say for example, this particular number 13. We just need to go to the last page where you can see where this uh, papers or statements has been referenced to so tichigem.com another four percent from dindo obedientia so it only have 13 percent similarity index 10 percent from internet sources six percent from publications and another six percent from student papers so by this we can now do enhancements on our paper and have it into a publishable paper format okay so i guess you learned how to submit a paper now turn it in account and do some similarity test and how we can improve this into a publishable paper based on the filter settings so this will be subject to similarity test again excluding those references that are less than 1% now if you ask me what is the good acceptable number of similarity index or percentage it will depend on the journal where we are going to submit our paper some would encourage zero percent some would accept at five or seven percent while others would accept at 15 and 25 percent including the references of your paper so how we do similarity tests is based on the criteria of the journal where we want to submit or publish our research article okay there it goes so just need to refresh so this is now the 13 percent based on our filter that we have set to exclude those references that are less than one percent so we can download this now download button then the current view imagine from 36 to 13 percent where we do exclude those references those statements that are less than one percent so it will depend on the criteria of the journal if we it, it will do accept uh, filtering of less than one percent or if not okay so you just need to download this preparing download okay so hopefully we can publish this one into a international refereed journal we are aiming for a scopus index journal in this research article okay so it's downloading now okay so that would be all on how to conduct a familiarity index test or plagiarism test of our research paper and how we can do the filtering how we can exclude and how we can actually view those references that were reported in this
plagiarism test so we can actually access this paper so again by Dindo Obedientia just click on this particular label here then simply click the author it will open up into another window redirecting you to the location of the actual paper where it is being referenced to okay so that would be all and thank you for uh, watching this turn it in support hope you gain insights and understanding on this tutorial of mine on how to conduct similarity test using your turnitin account okay so that would be all thank you